Naqsh Jahan Square, one of the biggest and most beautiful squares in the world. A UNESCO World Heritage Site that must be on your bucket list. Naqsh Jahan Square is located in the center of the city of Isfahan. It was built during the 17th century, during the Safavid era. This square, with its rich historical background, is one of the most spectacular attractions of the city of Isfahan. La ville est magnifique, les souks sont très beaux, les mosaïques sont somptueuses. Euh, voilà, les places qu'on découvre aujourd'hui sont magnifiques. Donc c'est vrai que pour nous, c'est un dépaysement total. You find an exquisite palace which is known as Ali Gapu. It was built during the Safavid era and it was considered the political center of the country. Ali Gapu literally means Great Gate. The palace is actually a six story building, but you won't realize this until you go to the backyard. It was here that the Safavid king would entertain his special visitors. He also celebrated Nuruz, the Persian New Year. Uh, we've just been to the palace, uh, absolutely beautiful. We went up the staircase to the number of levels uh, and just saw the amazing decorative artwork. Uh, and then went up to the top chamber where we believe the, the musicians used to play, the amazing acoustics. Mehmanan Shah dar waqe dar balkoni ke mibinid dar talaqe chaharam minishastan va az un bala barnama hai zibayi ke dar meydan be khusus bazi chogan anjam mishode shahed budan. This amazing structure is rich in wall paintings. The doors, walls and ceilings are highly ornamented with intricately designed floral motifs. On the sixth floor is where royal receptions were held and was referred to as the music hall. Also ich habe sowas noch nie gesehen in meinem ganzen Leben. Das ist unglaublich. Ähm, wir standen auch eben unten im, in dem großen Foyer und ähm, haben versucht, wie es ist, wenn man von der einen Seite zu der anderen spricht. Und es hat wirklich funktioniert und es ist unglaublich und einfach nur unvorstellbar. One of the main attractions of Naqsh Jahan Square are the mosques that are located in it. Mosques that are not only considered masterpieces of Iranian Islamic architecture, but that are famous for their tile works. Imam Mosque, also known as Jame Abbasi Mosque, is on the south side of the square. It is considered an excellent example of the Islamic era architecture of Iran. Its splendor is mainly due to the beauty of its seven color tiles. Probably the most amazing part of this mosque is its tile works. The tiles are so intricately designed that you can even find postcards and replicas of them around the square. The magnificent tile work serves a double function. Aside from ornamenting the mosque, there was a need to weatherproof the simple clay bricks used in its construction. The tiles are decorated in seven colors, which is why they are called haftrang, which literally means seven colors. Ici, quand on arrive, c'est vraiment une énorme surprise Et de, de voir toutes ces tuiles, ce décor bleu de fleurs, c'est vraiment magique, quoi. It's absolutely beautiful. It's so big and colourful. <laughs> and what else, Dan? Yeah, the tiles and the decorations are amazing, aren't they? Yeah. On the west of Naqsh Jahan Square, you can find one of the most exquisite masterpieces of Iranian architecture, Sheikh Lutfullah Mosque, which was built by Shah Abbas I of the Safavid dynasty. C'est vraiment très très joli. Euh, le détail des céramiques, euh, le travail vraiment très fin qui a été fait, euh, on est impressionné. Bon, 
what fascinates me most about this mosque is, first of all, architecturally, it's a uni unique work. You don't have anything like that in any part of Iran or elsewhere because it's a private mosque from, uh, built for the um, uh, father-in-law of Shah Abbas the Great. In terms of ornament, uh, what fascinates me most is the, the interplay of uh, national tile colors with uh, various, various sorts of blue color in, these, um, in the whole uh, composition, the composition of national tile color with blue. That's unique and that's very nice. I can't tell you enough about the beauty of Sheikh Lutfullah Mosque, but in my opinion, the most amazing part is the tile work under the dome. And if you're familiar with Persian carpets, you will find this design quite familiar. از مهمترین ویژگی های تقریبا میتونم بگیم معماری مکتب اصفهان در نهایت در عین ساده بودن پر رمز و راز بودنش هستش که نشون دهنده تخصص و تسلطی بود که در نهایت معماران و شهرسازان اصفهان عصر صفوی به علومی مثل فلسفه و عرفان داشتن و در نهایت با کار کرده این به اصطلاح معروف علوم رو شما در ساخت این بناها از جمله مثلا مسجد شیخ لطفلا یا مسجد امام یا همون جامعه عباسی میتونید ببینید به گونه‌ای که این بناها پر رمز و راز ساخته شدن یعنی شما در نهایت در این حال که یک پوستای ظاهری شما در این فضا ملاحظه می کنید یک نوع به استاره معروف نمایی باطنی هم در بناهای تاریخی اصفهان وجود داره و اون بخش شاید این مقدار کشف کردنش سخت تر از بخش ظاهرش باشه بازار این سریه در زل شمالی میدان نقش جهان قرار گرفته که بهش بازار بزرگ هم میگیم وقتی داخل این مجموعه بشید دقیقا داخل خود بازار همینطور که نیم ساعت قدم بزنید حداقل میرسید به مسجد جامعه عتیق یعنی بخش قدیمی که برمیگرده به دوره سلجو، سلجوقی بشه قرن 11 هم. The Bazaar of Isfahan is one of the oldest and largest bazaars in the Middle East. Some parts of it are more than a thousand years old. The bazaar is abundant in handicrafts, so if you're looking for a little something to take back, this is where you need to go. Probably one of the most interesting parts of Naqsh Jahan Square is Qaysariye Bazaar one of the longest bazaars in the world that connects Naqsh Jahan Square to Atiq Square. It's about eight kilometers long. The square is still as vibrant as it was, today mostly with the presence of tourists rather than merchants, but it is still reminiscent of its days of glory. When public ceremonies were held, Nuruz was celebrated, and polo games were played. Now after seeing all of these amazing things, there's only one thing I can say. Visiting Naqsh Jahan Square must be on your bucket list. Gisumi Shah Ahmadi for Iran.